Holding out of here, here's today's workout. Um, if you don't know, Dan John just released uh, what he calls a single kettlebell armor building complex. Uh, what I'm doing here was inspired by uh, that. I'll post a link to the video. Um, so anyway, uh, leading into that video, he talks about how people have reached out to him um, and asked him, you know, how, uh, what if I only have one kettlebell? How do I do the armor building complex? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and, and then he goes into, um, you know, it'd be easy to say, uh, just do it on one side, switch, switch, and do it on the other side. And that seems to make sense to me. I mean, uh, two clings, press, three squats, do the switch, keep rolling. And then he says, but the squat ratio would be off or too high or something. I don't get that. Um, the more squats you do, the better as far as I'm concerned. But he didn't feel like that worked. So according to him, after uh, lots of testing, he came up with uh, his uh, single kettlebell um, armor building complex which is a cling and press on one side, then a switch, then a cling and press, two squats, then you set the kettlebell down, as he says, shake, shake it out. Then you grab it with that same hand and do the single cling and press, switch, and go back to the other side. Um... That really seemed clunky to me. It did not have a good flow. I didn't understand all the switching and setting the kettlebell down. I like to put stuff together that each exercise or whatever's you know the complex, the circuit flows into the next thing. I, I want to limit, I want to alleviate and or at least limit rest. I don't want to build rest into um, a circuit uh, or give the opportunity for a break. So um, also that single cling and press start out set down really kind of made the whole thing confusing. So I thought, you know, how, how can we smooth this out? And, and my goal was to do the absolute minimum so it's as close to his design. Um, so anyway, if you look at it, it's a one to one to one ratio. There's a whole bunch of ways to go about it. Um, but again, I wanted uh, minimal change. So simply take that first cling and press and tack it on the end of the clean press and two squats and you hit everything on one side then you do a switch or in my case with a dumbbell a set down and hit the other side and then you can get this nice back and forth flow and um, get that great uh, conditioning um, strength building aerobic strength kind of thing happening so um, um, I recommend you give it a try. Uh, I, I went with a 20 pound dumbbell and as I'm approaching and my goal was t to see um, basically how long I could go or, or how much I could get done in 20 minutes. As I'm approaching 10 minutes, I'm like, um, that's going to be it. So, um, if you have kettlebells, my recommendation, if you want to follow my pattern, is don't even set it down. Just do the hand switches. Keep going from side to side. Um, anyway, um, old Natty, I'm out.